Hey guys, Thursday, uh, not Tuesday, uh, we actually got our replacement radiator for a Honda Civic. First thing we're gonna do is pop the hood. Uh, we already went inside, grabbed that from the, put this thing all the way on this back notch right here. Give us some room to work. Bam. Second thing we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna drain the water slash antifreeze that we put in the other day with our little quick fix to get us home. We're gonna drain that out and then start loosening some bolts. So I'll show you how to drain the antifreeze on this one. Uh, the drain valve is right here in the middle. Uh, basically it's gonna be in the same place on the middle of this one, but it's down there at the bottom. Now my oil drain pitch pan is what I put under here. To drain my water out into water slash antifreeze. I'm just gonna pull that, twist that little screw out, and get that a flowing. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna find what socket that is. Uh, more than likely, probably uh, 10 millimeter. We're gonna find it. Hmm, of course missing. Ha ha. It is a 10 millimeter. So we're gonna just loosen that up, get it out of there. That should be basically all that's holding the radiator itself in. And it looks like we'll have to get this off to be able to get this out. So we're gonna go ahead and loosen it up and try to get this out. 10 millimeter bolt. Okay, you don't have to loosen that. Uh, this piece here just slides up out of there. Just like that. Next thing we're gonna do is unhook the fan. Right here is the plug-in for it. Uh, looks like we're gonna have to maybe squeeze on it. Next. Next thing we're gonna have to do is unplug the fan here. Uh, basically, all you're gonna do is try to squeeze this, I believe. And pry it outward, maybe. So I ended up having to take a pair of pliers, pry down on this, and pull it out. Next thing we're gonna do is loosen these hoses. Uh, you got one on the top here, and one down on the very bottom get those loose and then pull them off and the radiator should just come straight up and once we start pulling this up uh, we're just going to go straight up uh, there's a hose down on the bottom that we're going to get disconnected but we're going to pull it up towards the top to where we can reach that other hose uh, we're just going to pull this hose out of the way that's the top one Once we get it up here so high, we can reach down there with our channel locks. Try that. Hose clamp back. And then pry the hose off. So once you've got your old radiator out, you're gonna to wanna to get your new one, get it over here next to you. Uh, you've got little rubber bushings on the other one that you're gonna to have to put on. Uh, you wanna do that now, put those on, and then you're gonna to have to take your fan off from the, the old one, and it should just bolt back on this one. So we're gonna do that right now, get that switched over, and then we'll be able to install this right here.
as I went to install the bottom hose back on, I noticed that it is just a wee little bit too big for the hose that I've got. So the hose clamp that was on it isn't going to fit. We're going to have to find one. Anyways, since that one ain't going to fit, uh, we're going to take that completely off, uh, put the hose back on, and use the top hose clamp that I had because uh, it's one of the screw on ones. I'm going to use it on the bottom, and then I'm going to go purchase one for the top one. So basically, once you get the bottom one on, you can ease this thing back down in here. Uh, we're actually going to have to wait till we get a hose clamp uh, before we can actually run this. But we can still put that on, get some fluid put in it, and finish this video. Next. So basically that's it. A few bolts here and there changed. Take the hose clamps off. Uh, only thing we've got left is the top hose clamp and filling it up the rest of the way with antifreeze, which we don't have. So we're gonna have to run to the store and grab that. But we showed you how to change it. If you liked the video, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next video.